Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm showing you how to install BTOP on COS OS or Zima OS. Uh, it should work on both. Um, so I'm updating this video because I did a former video on installing BTOP, but I did do some updates to the Docker image, like adding authentication. So I'm going to be going over in that, uh, that in this video as well. Um, so a little bit about this series is I'm going to go over a home lab, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So I just wanted to pop on here real quick, and thank you to all the Big Bear Club members that stayed with me during my, uh, uh, my, my uh, downtime. I've been recovering from, uh, eight stitches in my face from being bit by a Great Dane. Um, they said that if it was a little bit down more, I could have died. Uh, so uh, it also hit, uh, hit right here. But if it was a little bit up here, it would have got my eye. And I'm thankful that it didn't get my eye and it didn't get my neck. Um, but uh, the... Uh, the thing about it is, uh, is I'm trying to get over and get back into my videos. Uh, so I'm going to be making more and more videos, but I also have been working 24 seven on bringing y'all uh, a universal app store to where you can easily go on there and get it, uh, get all the Big Bear Cost OS apps. Uh, so it has a cost os a portainer a run tippy dockage and cosmos cloud and umbrell so what this does is it has a universal format for all the docker compo composed and the pipeline automatically converts it to all these different types of formats that it needs um so that's what i've been working on and i just wanted to thank all the people that have supported me and stuck with me during my downtime where I couldn't make as many videos at all. Um, so thank you very much and stay tuned for more. So this is what I'll be installing on uh, a COS OS, a BTOP. Uh, this makes it to where you can look at your resources. Um, and I package it up into a Docker image. Um, so you won't have to go here and actually uh, do anything with the, uh, the, uh, the, the binaries or anything. Um, so if you go over to Big Bear Docker Images, you'll see it over here. So if we go into apps and then you go to BTOP, and now you'll see the Docker files. And I also added authentication to this, so you have a username and password now. So this is what I'll be installed today. Now the XCOS OS information to explain this app to COS OS. And then the XCOS OS information to explain the app to COS OS. But this is to explain the actual ser uh, service r right here. Um, and this is to explain the, genera uh, the, the generic uh, app to cost os so none of the architectures that the docker image supports and that's up here this is the docker image um that will be amd 64 and arm 64 the main service is big bear btop and that's up here and then the description on the app store the tagline on the app store the developer of the docker image and that's big bear tech world and then the author of this docker composed that's big bear tech world and then the icon being used um thumbnail the tips down here so uh, this is what comes up before you install it it comes up in a model box and pops up um you can go here to read more instructions about it and now the title down here uh the category and then the actual uh a web UI port so 7681 and that rhymes with the host port up here so that's going to go to this port and then it's going to go into the cont container on this port because inside the container btop uh well gaudy is listening on 7681 so that is about the docker post so now i'm gonna start on my cost os and i'm going to go over to the app store right here and now you should have big bear tech world right here 
And if you don't, then you will need to uh, go down to more apps and then get the, the .zip uh, file URL, which is inside of the Big Bear Cost OS repo. So once you do that, uh, you should have uh, 358 plus apps. Um, so now I'm going to go to search and type BTOP. And now you see right here, so you can click on it and then you can press install. So now it comes up with our model box, uh, the before install. I'm going to say next steps. And what this is doing is just download the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, and get it up with Docker Compose underneath because it is using the Docker engine. So you can say continue in background. And now we have it over here. So you can see it's up and running. You, you can go into Dazzle real quick and you can go down to a Big Bear B top. And, and you can see that uh, the Gaudi is listening on 7681. So it should be good. So I'm going to go backwards. And now you can go up here to the top right and you can open into the web UI. You can set some tips here, and this is like a notepad, and you can uh, press the edit button, and now you can put something in here, like testing, and then press this check mark, which is save, and now it reloads the container in the background, says BTOP is okay. So now you can go down here to the settings, and now you can uh, get into the technical stuff, like the Docker image, the tag, now, when you get this off Big Bear Cost OS, it should stay updated. Now, if you don't uh, see it, it, it updating, but you see Big Bear Cost OS repo updating, you, you need to go over there and restart your Cost OS or your Zemo OS. So, the title, the icon URL, the web UI, you can set this to HTTPS or HTTP. Uh, you, you need to have HTTP on this. And now um, this is the web UI port. So like I was saying, you can change the web UI port. And then once you change the web UI port, you'll have to change the host port right here. Um, so now you can see network right here. Do not change this at all. And um, the vo volumes down here, the host and the cont container. And you can see the environment variables right here. And you can ch uh, change this to false to uh, disable the authentication. And now the password is password. The uh, username is Boo Bear. And devices, container, commands. Uh, this is a privileged cont a container. And the container name is Boo Bretop. Um, so you can go up here to the top right and you can go into the terminal. And now we're inside the container. You can see the logs right here. Uh, next to that, you, you can export this Docker and Post file formatted for Cost OS by clicking this. Um, if you made any changes right here in the form, you can go ahead and press the Save button. I'm going to go up here to the X and press it. So now we're going to go back over here. You can check for updates like this. Sometimes that works and sometimes that doesn't, depending on what's happening. Um, the more reliable way is going over here and a restart. And now uh, you can uninstall. And w when you uninstall this, you you'll get delete user data right here. So you can check mark this and it will delete the actual files that it created on the host. You can uncheck mark that and it'll leave the files on the host, but it'll remove the Docker container. So cancel. And you can restart. You can power off and on right here. So now if you want to see your files, you can go in this files app right here. The app data, Big Bear BTOP, and config, themes, and a BTOP config. So you can edit it right here and you press the save button. So you can go exit out of there. And you can also check mark these and download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. Um, so that's a little bit about the UI for BTOP in Cost OS, a, da a dashboard. Hello, I just wanted to pop in here real quick and tell you how much I appreciate all my subscribers 
and also you watching this video. So um, it takes a lot of time to make all these videos and also maintaining all the open source projects that go along with all these videos. So um, like Big Bear Cost OS, Big Bear Video Assets, Big Bear Scripts, they all take almost daily maintenance. So um, if you would, please consider donating. Very much appreciate it. And it helps me continue to be able to help as many people as possible be able to do all this. So I, uh, my goals in each one of these videos and each one of the things that I make is to make it extremely easy for anybody to do it. And uh, it takes a lot of time to make that ha happen. So um, if you would, please consider donating. Uh, and also you can join the Big Bear Club and continue to, uh, donating. So um, thank you very much. And let's get back to your vi video. We can go back into the UI without having to put a username and password in. And there we go. So that's about the BTOP UI. So I just went over step by step on getting BTOP running on your cost OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video sessions or any community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link down in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.